reflex actions and neural pathways. We're going to start off by thinking about what a reflex action is. So we'll take an example of a fly and the fly is currently sitting on a table. I'm about to expose it to a stimulus and the stimulus is a fly swatter moving towards the fly. That causes a shadow which the, the fly detects, that's the stimulus bit, and the movement of the air from the swatter is also detected by the fly. That stimulus is detected by receptors on the fly. Um, the light change, the shadow, is detected by light receptors in the fly's eye, and the movement of air is detected by hair cells on the skin of the fly. When the fly detects those changes, it has an involuntary reflex response. This is a response it's able to perform without thinking about it, so it's incredibly quick. And the fly takes off, moving its wings, and it moves away from the direction the shadow and the air is moving towards it. So the fly moves off, and my fly swatter doesn't hit the fly. That's because the fly has this involuntary, fast reflex response. So what is a reflex action? Animals like flies have simple behaviours that are instinctive and they're there to help them survive. These reflexes can help them do a range of things including move towards food, move away from predators or dangers and find a mate. We also have reflex actions found in more complex organisms like humans and some examples include dropping a hot object when you pick it up, there's the knee jerk reflex and the cough reflex amongst many others. These are all involuntary reflexes, so they don't require you to think about them for you to be able to perform them. So for example, the dropping of a hot object, if you pick up something really hot, you're going to drop it automatically without having to think about it. And that behavior is there to help prevent you from being damaged or harmed by the really hot object. There's two different ways that we can respond to changes in our environment. The first way is through chemicals called hormones and they're released by glands. So you have a gland inside your brain and that gland can release hormones that can travel through your bloodstream to organs around your body, for example the kidneys. Um, that organ can then affect a change. This response is not as quick as a reflex. It takes some time for that hormone to travel around your bloodstream and get to the organ. So it's not going to give you that instantaneous response that we need for a reflex action. So we need another way of responding to the change. And that happens through the nervous system. And what's involved in that is electrical impulses being sent along neurons. These are incredibly quick because they're electrical signals and that allows a change to be made very quickly. So reflex actions need to be quick, that's why they're unconscious, they're there to help us survive. Reflexes use the nervous system to ensure we get this rapid response. The nervous system is made up of two parts, the CNS or the central nervous system which consists of the brain and the spinal cord. In the central nervous system the brain is responsible for your conscious actions and the spinal cord and parts of your brain are responsible for involuntary or unconscious actions. The central nervous system is connected to the rest of your body through the peripheral nervous system, which are neurons and neural pathways linking it up to all the different parts of your body, linking it to receptors and effectors all around your body. So let's have a think about how this actually works and what happens during a reflex action. So the reflex we are going to take is the example of a pin um, touching your skin, which your arm will move away from, and that's a reflex action, it's an unconscious thought. So the stimulus is a change in the environment, and that stimulus is the pin touching your skin. That's detected by receptors in the skin, so skin cells or pain receptors. Um, that then sends a signal along the sensory neuron, because we've just sensed something, it's the sensory neuron, um, and that goes to the spinal cord. So we send that electrical impulse to the spinal cord along the sensory neuron. The spinal cord then determines what response is needed. Notice that it doesn't go to the brain. It's quite happy just to go to the spinal cord. That determines the response. Sends a signal along the motor neuron. Because we're about to do something, we're about to make something move, it's the motor neuron. And that travels to an effector, usually a muscle which then causes the response. 
So the muscle is the effector, that's the thing that makes the change happen, and the response is the action that your body performs, which in this case would be to move your arm away from the pin. Next thing we're going to look at is this diagram, and this is a diagram showing a reflex arc or a neural pathway for a reflex. Um, so what you need to do is have a look at this diagram and work out which of the labels from the top here go on each of these lines. Pause the video, have a think about it, and then I'll talk you through the answers. Okay, hopefully you've had time to pause the video and have a go. So we'll now think about what the answers are. This set of cells here, these are the receptor cells. The cells that are going to detect that stimulus which is going to trigger our reflex action. That signal produced by the receptor cells travels along this neuron here, which is a sensory neuron, because I've just sensed something. That travels into the spinal cord, which is this here. Okay, Inside the spinal cord, there are these things here, which are synapses, and they allow the nerve impulse to move from one neuron to the next. Inside your spinal cord, you have a relay neuron, and this is the neuron involved in making that decision. Um, making that unconscious action occur and then leaving the spinal cord is the motor neuron which an electrical signal will travel down towards the effector which in this case is muscle cells that's going to cause my action this set of neurons already exists so for the reflex action to occur the neural pathway is there, it exists, it's really quick for this action to happen. I don't have to make decisions, work out which neuron it needs to travel down, the pathway already exists for me to make that response happen, which is why my reflex action is so quick. 